Hi everybody, how's everybody doing here? It uh, looks like Aaron had a really nice trade. That was a good job, Aaron. Great. Um, and yes, when you come into, when you took an excellent entry up there, read that really, really well. But at the, the, when you're coming into the close like this, and this thing got down so darn close to the settlement, it's, um, I know that Daryl has recommended from several times I've heard him that it's better to take your profit, be willing to give up a couple ticks just to get out instead of giving up uh, 10 while it turns up the wrong way. But this this thing is putting in a classic uh, lorry elevator. So anyway, it looks like we left off uh, crude oil up here with uh, with the idea that if you did take this, how to manage this thing on the way up. This is now going to get parked over here. This is one of the things, this doesn't happen a lot, but of course this is the summer time and today's been a day. We've, we've been back here with red apex formations and then we had green ones and then we had red ones and then we have green one. So this is a lot of stuff just settling out. Um, so we can take advantage of it for sure. But for this trend to change, um, Jim, I think you were the one that was asking about the uh, how to figure out these, which ones are valid and which ones aren't. Had this formed right here this is the first green we have to start all over again counting I guess is what I'm saying after the red ones so we start all over again this one has a this would be number one and it's got a red MVP and the red I'm, I'm sorry a green MVP and the green um, predictors going up here so we'll see if this bounces on back up here later or overnight or whatever it does and it puts in another secondary E with no readies in between um, and it doesn't really look to me like that's likely to happen because it just broke this power line this green uh, I mean yeah this is green power line here right at the ice that is formed off of this P bar right here so this green is likely going to fail. And we we went one time, I think, in January with no apex formations for, I don't know, a week. It was a long time. This is interesting right here because this would lead you to believe this is a definitely a, a green. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Just, just a minute. Let me get Okay, um, so anyway, one of the things I wanted to call to your attention is, do you see right up here these two wicks on these two 30-minute bars, and they just leveled off right here? That is a signal that this is likely going to go down, so please pay attention to these 30-minute candles. I mean, I don't have them up here just for decoration. When that thing goes down like that and we get the next 30 minutes, I'm not a fan of trading right here at this uh, close because the pit's closing at 2.30. But it, if you had a good trade on and you wanted to continue, that's fine. You certainly can. But my point is when you see this kind of a big candle here, it very likely is going to have a friend that starts right there. And especially at the 30 minutes when you can see the, the bottom, which is the close of this one at about 41.25, and this one opened 
right there and then continued on down. So this may um, this may go on down a ways. But the um, most of the volume has probably gone out of this and we'll just wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll bring another day. Uh, the VIX is holding even higher. It's almost, it's one tick away from, from 18. So with that, the expectation is that tomorrow the indices will continue to drift uh, down unless this VIX turns around. So we'll watch that. Uh, the currencies have all been very happy campers today. Uh, and even gold is... Uh, it's looking a little better than it did. It looked pretty pitiful for a while. The um, the commodities, the grains are up. Uh, beans more so. Beans is, are leading that uh, charge on the way up. And uh, let's see. I'm checking a couple other things for you. Um, Brent is below. It's... Um, Brent, Brent is almost to the very low it's been for a long, 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 long time, too. So we'll just have to see. It's a little difficult to trade crude oil when it's struggling around here, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, I'll try to remind you of this again tomorrow, but I will right now while I'm thinking about it. Um, Friday is a day to kind of keep in the back of your mind, especially if you've had a great week. You know, making money in the uh, markets is really very easy. Um, you could frankly train a chimp to do this. This is not that difficult. The problem is keeping the money you made. And a lot of people get kind of uh, over-enthusiastic on Friday and managed to lose everything they already made. So if you've had a great week this week, I would caution you to be, uh, just be cautious about tomorrow and try to keep as much of your profit as you possibly can. Believe in 30 minutes, I haven't scrolled through here, but I believe um, uh, Captain Courageous, our fearless leader, is going to do a webinar on some of these new indicators in this toolkit rollout. So uh, I think there's usually a link. Maybe we can get uh, Tony to put a link in here for everybody, but I have an idea that's going to be pretty educational because there are a lot of really cool things. Santa and his helpers have been very, very busy. So with that, I will um, sign off and see you tomorrow morning. And this is, what is this? This is Thursday, August the 20th. And this has been my view from my world in Apex land. Catch you tomorrow.